Hello and welcome to my first ever video. I am very, very excited to be extending some of my communication work from writing and pictures to video. This is a bit of a step for me and it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. I am a final year PhD student at University College London and I am studying neuroscience and that is the study of the brain. I've been studying the brain now for about seven years and to me it is the most fascinating organ. It's like the organ that controls every thought you've ever had, all your feelings, your memories are in there, how you move. The brain is responsible for it all and we all have a brain but what really makes me annoyed and sad is that neuroscience research is published for other scientists to read. I feel like it's unfair that people are unable to access this research because of the way it is communicated. My mission is to be a translator from all of that scientific jargon into everyday conversation and make science understandable and fun. As soon as I say I study neuroscience, I'm usually asked, oh, so are you gonna be a neurosurgeon then? I literally wouldn't trust myself cutting someone's hair, never mind cutting someone's head open. So no, I'm not gonna be a neurosurgeon, I am a neuroscientist, which basically means I work in a lab and I am trying to study how our brain works. Why I decided to do a PhD was really because of my interest in Alzheimer's disease. In my family, I've grown up almost thinking Alzheimer's disease is a normal part of aging. My nan contracted Alzheimer's disease when I was about 15 years old and before she had Alzheimer's disease, a few of her siblings also had Alzheimer's disease. So growing up, I was surrounded by the older generation of my family having this memory loss and not really knowing who I was, which as a child is quite hard to comprehend when someone that you love and care about doesn't recognise you or doesn't know who you are. And going through that with my nan when I was that little bit older, made me realise that not everyone's grandparents end their lives with this disease. It is a disease and there must be a reason why some people get Alzheimer's and some people don't. And because some people don't, there must be a way to stop the people who do from getting the disease in the first place. And that for me was a real motivator to go to university to study neuroscience. So from day one I've studied the brain and I'm here now, seven years later, still doing that. I'm definitely not a stereotypical scientist. I'm not the, you know, man with the big glasses and the bushy hair. I am just Julia from Liverpool who does science. And I think it's really important to recognise that a lot of scientists are what the public think scientists are. And having those faces at the front of science is eye-opening for people. Having a real human there who can speak to you about research makes science more accessible. And I'm hoping I can be that for even just one person. I want to really describe what doing a PhD is all about. And I really just wanted to document the week-to-week -week changes you experience. There are a lot of highs doing a PhD, but there are also a lot of lows you basically make mistakes all the time and things don't work. It takes a lot of motivation and morale to get through a PhD. Also, I will be doing videos explaining the basics of our brain. And this will be everything from the cells in our brain to why we behave the way we do, to the most recent research that is coming out of the neuroscience field. So stay tuned for those videos as well. Thank you so much for watching my first video and I hope that through this platform you can learn something new. And whether that's something new about your brain, about some scientific research, about what being a PhD student is like or just being a woman in STEM or even a Scouse word or two, 
you know, if you ever want to ask me any questions, please leave a comment below or catch me on my Instagram, me, myself and I, and I will aim to maybe answer a few questions in these videos too. I'm here to share with you all and make science less of a scary thing.